Hey guys and welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. Today we will be painting a corn and for the materials again I'm using exactly the same supplies as I did for my previous illustrations so all of them are listed in the description box. If you want to check something out you can find it there. First I will be doing a sketch with a pencil and I started with drawing the ear and then drawing the husk. I will be doing a couple of them and most of them are going to be open and some will be covering the ear. And when finished with that I drew a silk and also the seeds, some of them, because I will do all of them with ink and I just did not want to sketch all of them, it wasn't necessary for me, but if you would like that you can sketch all of your seeds and then move on to the inking. I'm using 01 from Micron Pigma ink pen for the for the husk and the silk and also for the seeds but as you can see I'm uh, drawing them one at a time. I did not draw one straight line and then divide it into the seeds but I'm drawing every single seed because there is some spot between them, they're not completely even, so it looks a little bit more believable if you do it like that. When I finished with my sketch, basic sketch, I just added the detail, some shading and some texture with the, this is I believe smaller ink pen, 005. And then also a little bit more of the shading on the husk. I will be doing later on more of the inking, but for now that is enough, that was enough. I picked up some sweet yellow to paint in the seeds and then some leaf orange just to add some darker parts to the seeds. It's not one completely even color. It has also a little bit of shading texture so I'm adding it with this leaf orange. And for the husk first I used some green. I mixed my paints directly onto watercolor paper. You can mix them on the palette but I wanted to mix them on the watercolor paper because it kept a little bit of the green somewhere and a little bit of this orangey brown tone in the part so that is how I decided to mix my colors directly onto my watercolor paper. At the bottom I've added a little bit more of the soft brown and then while the paint is still wet I'm adding a bit more saturated sweet yellow to parts of my seeds and also some leaf orange to the silk and some of the seeds. A little bit more to the husk. I'm just building the layers. Every single layer is showing through. If you are painting on top of the dry watercolors, so I did want to layer my color. I did not want to mix all of it. And a couple of splatters with green, with leaf orange, now I've picked up just a clean water and splattered some clean water to create some puddles on my paper and now some sweet yellow. Also I've added a tiny bit of leaf orange just at the bottom but where the darker shadows are, splatters with black and then some more details with black and this detail brush from Pan Art. The paint is still wet so those lines are slightly bleeding. I wrote in the date but then when it dried I was looking at it and I did want to add a little bit more of the ink. So I'm just adding a little bit more of the texture and shading and at the end a little bit more of the splatters with black. And with that I'll be finishing off this illustration, this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, you're gonna give this a try. It's simple enough and well I guess if you do like it please hit the like button, share it and comment. If you haven't still please subscribe to my channel. There are many tutorials there so I'm sure you will find something for yourself. 
Also, real-time videos for the Inktober are available for my channel members. And if you want to find out a little bit more about the membership, there is a link in the description box and you can check it out. Again, guys, thank you so much for joining, for watching, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!